Hello, I am José Rouillard, and with my co-author, Hakim C. Mohamed and François Cabestin, from the BCI team Crystal Lab in the University of Lille, France, we are presenting a pilot study for a more immersive virtual reality brain-computer interface. We are conducting researches in the domain of BCI and virtual reality in the same time. In a classical loop for brain-computer interfaces, the user can see on the screen the visual feedback. In a VR BCI, the user can see uh, in a virtual world the information provided by the BCI system. So since the works from Lib, it is possible to interact in a virtual environment thanks to VR BCI and for example to walk forward in a virtual street without the use of muscle activity. The basic principle of VRBCA is based on eye focus attention to select a picture, for example. Here, the user think about the picture you want to select, the system analyze, and really select the picture according to uh, visual information at the occipital part of the brain. Here, we would like to use VRBCI with uh, motor execution and motor imagery. Motor execution is a moment when the user performs a real movement and the EEG can uh, detect it. And motor imagery is uh, the moment where the user imagines he or she is performing a movement without really performing it. And the EEG can detect it also. Because imagination of feet movement, for instance, can be detected by an EEG in the same uh, area of a brain as if the user really performed the movement. But of course, it's very difficult to imagine moving a lamp without really doing it. Using a uh, motor imagery based BCR has been labeled as a skill to be trained. So our question is how BCR based on motor imagery can benefit from VR advances in order to better involve the user in the attraction interaction loop uh, with the computer system. And our first step in this research, which is also the title of our paper, is a pilot study for more immersive VR BCI. Now, if I ask you, imagine to move your feet, what will be your mental representation of this movement? Some people will imagine something like that, some over pushing a pedal like that in the car or on a bass drum, or like that. So this is the architecture to uh, tackle this problem. First, we've got a Unicorn Hybrid Black JTEC uh, headset. The information are processed with uh, OpenVibe and then transmit it to Unity 3D thanks to LSL, which means uh, Lab Streaming Layer Protocol. And the user can see the feedback in the Valve Index headset. This is the details of the signal processing with OpenVibe. Basically, we've got a Laplacian around CZ uh, electrode on unicorn uh, uh, between 16 and 24 hertz. So acquisition client, temporal filter, channel selector here around CZ for this Laplacian, C1, C2, FCZ and uh, uh, CBZ. So we've got the special filter Laplacian, a time-based poking, uh, simple DSP, and so we can uh, treat this signal like that. So this is a video example where the avatar work is triggered at a particular threshold. Here, of course, this is a 
the beta rebound around the CZ electrode that is used. And uh, after this movement, it continues during a, a few seconds before stopping. So as you can see, the user think about moving his uh, legs. The avatar work for a few seconds and stop his movement until the next peak here on the Laplacian CZ electrode. So it's usable, the, the avatar here reach the wall after a moment and only with uh, brain activity and without muscle activity. In this pilot study, we used a valve index headset. So an avatar represents the user in an immersive virtual world. VR tracker are installed on the user thieves. And in Unity 3D, thanks to inverse kinematics, we reproduce on the avatar the movement actually performed by the user. So, of course, we want to study the effectiveness of such BCI when the user imagines doing the movement without really uh, actually performing it. So, in the training session, uh, we ask the user to move freely his uh, feet, legs, etc. And of course, we are uh, recording this information, reproducing the free move on the user uh, headsets, the Valve Index here. And in the executive session, we ask the user to think about the movement, but uh, not to do it really. And of course, in the, the headsets Valve Index here, the user can see the movement that is not really uh, performing but thinking about. So here are uh, various ways that we observe to move the feet and legs uh, freely. Some people are using duck posture, for example, opening and closing their feet like that for the left part and the right part. And it's really represented like that in the uh, virtual world. Some users prefer to uh, move their legs up and down and here we've got the same results in the virtual headsets. Here is another way to move a leg and it's uh, realistic thanks to inverse kinematics calculated in uh, Unity 3D. Finally, we've got here this video demonstration where the user can see in a virtual uh, reality environment his avatar reproducing the exact move he's doing, feet and legs. As you can see on the screen here, And as a conclusion for this paper, a pilot study for a more immersive virtual reality brain-computer interface, uh, we can say that our approach is uh, to record the real movement made by the user, thanks to VR trackers, 
and reproduce them in uh, an avatar in a virtual world when the user is asked to imagine the same movement but without performing it. Our proof of concept is validated with a Unicorn JTEC uh, plus OpenVibe plus LSL and the Unity 3D uh, with uh, in their schematic. And now the next step will be to measure on various and numerous users if this approach gives a better interaction loop compared to a simple bar visualization uh, feedback uh, on the screen. Thank you for your attention and this is my contact email.